So I've been seeing a lot of different top fives and top tens lately, and I feel like this will be another good video. Today I'm gonna be talking about my top 10 sneakers that I purchased for retail, and we'll be going over what they are currently worth in the market today. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey! Now if you haven't already, that's cool, but you might as well go ahead and hit the subscribe button, man. Join the DNA fam, drop a comment down below and let me know how your day is going. If you're new to the family, please drop a comment so I can give you a warm welcome to the family as well. And don't forget to hit that like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So these are some of the sneakers that I have accrued over the years and I didn't realize that they would go for insane prices that they did. At first it just obviously was just a collection and a hobby and then completing different parts of the collection I wanted to have this full collection I wanted to have that full collection all these different things and the next thing you know years go by and the shoes start to increase in value without you even knowing so it's kind of cool like that some shoes we know they're hyped now in today's market and they do fall in this place but some of this older stuff you would be like yeah I remember the day when that shoe was only going for 200 bucks and now it's going for a thousand dollars some of these shoes I would have never expected to be these prices and I'm pretty sure you guys would be kind of surprised as well so let's go ahead and get into the first shoe we'll work our way from the cheapest one all the way to the most expensive one at the end of the video so stick around and let me know what you guys think when we're done starting with sneaker number one the Air Jordan 5 off-white now these recently came out a couple months ago people knew that there was a resale value I personally got the shoe because I wanted it for my collection I just didn't want to spend over retail so I said if I didn't get these for retail I probably wasn't gonna buy them and I got lucky I got the shoe for retail if you haven't seen the full review go ahead and check out the link above for that but basically this sneaker was worth $225 the current resale value for my size is roughly around $700 leaving you a $475 profit if you were to sell the sneaker today taking it to shoe number two now this one is just a little bit more expensive but it is the air jordan 4 travis scott that blue joint yeah these things go crazy they uh did a launch on sneakers app everybody was going crazy the app was failing everybody was having all these issues i sat on there refreshing my app for an hour luckily i had multiple people entering for me and i got very lucky i didn't end up winning but somebody else did for me so i ended up still getting the sneaker for retail and bruh i was so happy when these came in the mail the shoe is fire everybody knows all the details about it i don't think i need to say much retail on this sneaker is 225 dollars in this current market it's going for roughly $740 and that's gonna leave you a profit of $515 if I were to sell the sneaker today now this is one of my top grails in my collection I camped out for these bruh and I was so happy when I got multiple pairs I had bought so many pairs that I actually ended up returning pairs back to the store because at the time I didn't know what to do with them I was young and in high school I couldn't afford to have all those pairs on stock and just waiting to figure out what to do with it I was just like I need this shoe I love this shoe and then I started trading pairs out I ended up only keeping two pairs and now to this day I just have one I still have my pair dead stock I love this sneaker oh so much this is the Air Jordan 6 Dornbecker retail on this sneaker was $165 they're going for roughly $800 right now in the resale market you could potentially get close to a thousand if you got the right buyer but we're just gonna keep it at $800 for the resale and that would leave you a $635 profit if you were to sell this sneaker again not for sale but bruh look at that sole still iced out yeah I love these so this next shoe right here I wasn't exactly sure how I felt about it I knew that it was definitely an interesting piece and it was definitely different from the other shoes that had recently came out and that is the vault Air Force one this one pops this one sticks out and it's very very different again I didn't know how I felt about it and I said the only thing I can do is try to just buy the shoe and then from there make my decision so I ended up getting these off of sneakers app retail was 170 bucks they're going for roughly 800 to 900 bucks right now and they took a huge spike in the market over like a six month period and it was crazy because originally they were going for like 350 and not that many people even really wanted them at that time I wish I would have bought more right didn't even know so now that shoe's going for that we're gonna say it goes for 850 and the retail was 170 that's gonna leave you with a 680 dollar profit if you were to sell this shoe but again not for sale so this next one is another interesting one because I love this shoe when I seen the image I just knew I had to have it it's a part of a collection and I wanted to complete the entire set so for me I just I was like bro I got to get this shoe if I can get it for retail amazing if I can't get it for retail I'm probably still gonna buy it either way and that is the Air Jordan 8 Dornbecker I got these things for retail retail was like 190 bucks and bro I was so happy when I grabbed these I got these and a kids pair 
very very happy about the purchase it was just kind of funny because not a lot of people really wanted them people was hating on them calling them bad with the colorway and all the different stuff and then now today it's like a dope shoe people want it the price is high and it was just kind of interesting to me because i remember when it did first come out it was not really as loved as it is now. So retail on this shoe was 190 bucks. It's currently going for roughly $900, and that leaves you with a $710 profit if you were to sell this shoe. Again, not for sale. Now this next one is like a double whammy, bro. I was still, I'm still shocked today, honestly. Every time I talk about this, this is like just mind blowing. It didn't even make sense to me. This one right here is another big shocker. I got the exclusive access on the sneakers app and they ended up giving me the UNC Off-White Jordan 1, bro. I was so happy when I seen this shoe on my thing. I, I didn't like, I seen people like, oh, yo, people got exclusive access. And I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna get it. I ain't got no chance. And then I go to my phone, open it up. It says exclusive access. And I got the shoe. It said buy now. I was like, no way, bro. This is not even real. Retails 190 bucks. And they're roughly going for 1275 bucks right now. That would leave you with $1,085 for profit, bro. Just on this shoe, that is insane to me. Especially being able to get them with the exclusive access and the story behind it and everything. I just knew, never getting rid of these. Gotta keep them in my collection. Okay, we are at our top three most expensive, most profitable, whatever you like to call it, sneakers left in my collection that I purchased for retail. Again, if you have made it to this far, if you have made it this far in the video, man, drop a comment down below and let me know what your number one purchase is that you got for retail and how much it's worth now today. I would love to hear about that story. And again, don't forget to hit that like button. Let's go ahead and take it into the third one. This one right here, you guys should know from the last video, if you haven't seen that one, go check that video out. But this one, the Air Jordan 1 Doorbreaker. My boy Booper, he gave these to me. Again, this is a shoe that has no value to me. I will never get rid of this shoe, but we're just talking about prices in the market. Retail was $125 on this shoe. They're going for roughly $1,275. That's leaving you with $1,150 profit if you were to sell this shoe today. I could get rid of all these other shoes over here, but this one right here, this one ain't going nowhere. This one means a lot more to me than any of these other shoes. Coming in at second place, this one right here, I spoke on it on my previous video, just talking about my top five favorite Air Jordan 1s, and that is also the Air Jordan 1 Band. I got these for $109. That was the retail, and they're currently reselling for roughly $1,500. That leaves you with a $1,391 profit if you were to sell this shoe. I have sold previous pairs before, but I know this one specifically. I'm never getting rid of this one. I got a great story behind it, and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. Now, this one right here honestly blew my mind. I had no clue this was going to be at the number one spot and that is the Air Jordan 4 Dornbecker. Now I remember when this shoe wasn't going for too much, it was hitting a little bit, but the price started to creep up over time, and I did remember when it was around $800, $900, or $1,000, but to see the price now at $1,965, bruh, what? Retail was $175. That leaves you with a $1,790 profit if I were to sell this shoe right here. And it's just crazy to see that this is the number one sneaker and my best purchase or whatever you like to call it from all my shoes that I got for retail. Bruh, this is wild. So now just recapping on my top 10, well, I guess 11 purchases here. The Air Jordan 5 Off-White, the Air Jordan 4 Travis Scott, the Air Jordan 6 Dornbecker, the Nike Air Force One Off-White Volt, the Air Jordan 8 Dornbecker, two pairs of the Air Jordan 1 Travis Scotts, a pair of Off-White UNC Air Jordan 1s, the Dornbecker Air Jordan 1, a Band Air Jordan 1, and finally, the best purchase of all, the Air Jordan 4 Dornbecker. What were your top three favorite of my top 10 purchases? Please drop comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. I feel like all these sneakers are dope. I love having them in my collection. I've had pairs from, as you can see, 10 years ago, seven years ago, recently in the past couple years. There are a lot of different things that I've accrued over the years for the retail value, and I'm very excited to have that. I have a lot of other shoes that didn't make the list that are going for, you know, $500 to $700 that I would love to show you guys as well. So if you'd like to see another lower tier version of this video, drop comments down below and I can break out some other stuff that I got for retail that I think you guys might enjoy as well. So with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm going to see y'all in the next video, bro. This one was really fun to make and definitely reminiscing and thinking about all the stuff that I purchased over the years, how I got these crazy deals, thinking like, oh yeah, it's just retail. It's worth a couple 
couple bucks and now it's doubled and tripled in price. That's definitely great for an investment purpose as well because sometimes in life we don't need all these sneakers anymore. Realistically, we don't need them all ever. But there's a point in life when we come and you're like, hey, maybe if I sold some of my shoes, I could buy another house. I can make another investment. I could get rid of some debt. I could do this. So look at that as another perspective, not just saying, oh, all you do is have these shoes. Da, 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 da. Don't look at this video in a way to hate on something. Look at it in a way like, hey, maybe you could make a wise investment purchasing the right shoes, making the right buys, all those different things. So I hope this video inspired you to buy the right sneakers and look at the long term, the big picture and the value and the things that you can get in the long run and how eventually we could take money like this and buy homes and do things like that i gotta buy my third house this year man i'm hunting i'm hunting i'm hunting i gotta make it happen bro I'm speaking it into existence still the deal that i was trying to do a couple weeks ago fell through it didn't end up happening but that's okay i'm still gonna buy my third house this year and when i do you know we're gonna do it together i'm gonna show you guys the whole process you and me let's make it happen so that being said now i gotta go my name is dj i'm signing out gone deuces <laughs> peace